Hi, Taylor here with Lawson Screen and Digital Products. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Lawson Epson DTG long sleeve platen. So you can load the long sleeve platen either this way or the other way. It is totally a preference for you and how you wanna do your artwork. Make sure to lower the platen height down. Take some double-sided tape. I got this at Walmart. You can get it from anywhere and just put a couple of strips on your platen. You are looking to keep the sleeve from moving during printing. So it doesn't need to be super, super tight. You just don't want your garment to move when you're printing it and when you're loading it and all that. So once your tape is on, load your garment. I like to load it through the neck and slide it on. This way you are sleeve, you don't, you're not stretching out the sleeve collar. So you just load it through all this extra material. You can kind of take it up and there's a little spot right here. Smooth it out. You do need to get all the wrinkles out for a good print and so you don't set off the height error. Once you got it loaded, go ahead, select your file. I'm using a USB drive right here. Just go down to my sleeve and go ahead and press start. And now you see the Lawson Epson DTG long sleeve platen in action. Once it's done printing, pull it off. It's pretty easy. You kind of lift it up a little bit. You can give it a pull and it should just basically come off, slide off the platen and you can go dry it on your heat press. So that was the Lawson Epson long sleeve DTG platen in action. You can see it's super easy to use, super easy to operate, and you can print on a full length sleeve with your DTG. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, like this video, and subscribe for more great DTG and screen printing tech tips.